Welcome back to another video, everyone. This is Ant Will Reacts, aka hosted by me, Ant Will. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, today we're going to be reacting to top ten moments from Fairy Tale, or top ten Fairy Tale moments. I really love Fairy Tale, cause like, like when I first watched it. And I never stopped watching it. Because I've heard about Fairy Tale when I was watching Death Battle. Um, so I uh, I was introduced to Urza Scarlet. You know, Urza Scarlet versus um, Roanora versus Zoro. Um, you see, and after, after the Death Battle, I was interested in watching Fairy Tale. And when I first watched it, I never stopped watching it. It's so many plot points, so many mysteries, so m everything. Fairy Tale is one of my favorite animes. My favorite character of all is Natsu, because he's very funny. Anyway, I'm not. Anyway, let's not waste time. Let's dive in. Uh, also, um, there's I. I finished the first. I finished like fairy tale all the fairy tale episodes first and then the t 2014 one i didn't finish that one yet so i might be spoiled on here but i saw but i saw them on youtube okay this series has got us all fired up <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fairy tale moments. I can't believe it. Before we begin, we publish new videos that voice every sounds day, familiar. so be sure to subscribe for this great person's content. voice. For this list, we'll be looking at the most iconic moments to ever come out of this hugely successful fantasy anime. As such, be on the lookout for plenty of spellbinding spoilers down the line. How could you? And for such a petty reason! I'm Todd Habercorn, voice of Natsu Dragneel. What? And I'm the voice of animated reason. That's taking nice. you through all the magical moments from this series where it's okay to use a flying blue cat as a mode of transportation, and sometimes you have to fight fire with, well, fire. I know I've got a Watch Mojo fire in my belly, so let's get started. You're amazing. Number 10. Loxus returns. Oh, I hate Loxus in this in this part. He's nothing to me. Fairy Tail's resident lightning bolt is something of a bad boy. It's just a shame his rebellious stage involved throwing the guild into chaos and nearly frying Natsu to a crisp. While Loxus yeah. would eventually come to regret his actions, it still resulted in his expulsion, swiftly followed by a tear-jerking farewell between himself and his grandfather Makarov. You take care of yourself, okay, old man. Please just go! Of course, the Thunder Dragon was never going to stay hidden for long. After Hades took down his gramps, Loxus makes an epic return via a lightning headbutt. Jeez. We also have to give him extra credit for helping Natsu to achieve lightning fire dragon mode. That was awesome. Well, I liked him in this. Number nine, Mira Jane goes She-Devil. Oh, I remember this. You mean the sweet and caring Mira has a dark side? Surely not. Well, when her beloved brother is threatened, the gloves come off. Just as Thunder Legion member Freed is about to put an end to Elfman, Mira snaps and unleashes her own takeover. What's this? So much power. Who is she? The result is her trading in her smile for something a little more satanic. You almost have to feel sorry yeah. for Freed on this one, as the elder Strauss sibling holds nothing back and proceeds to go on a demonic rampage, leading to a rather brutal defeat. <laughs> Number eight, reunited. So, oh. the time has come at last. From the very beginning, we were all made aware that the only parental connection Natsu had was with the dragon known as Igneo. The only problem yeah. was that he, along with all the other dragons, suddenly disappeared, leaving our favorite hot-headed This is the thing that bothered me the most. Turns out that Igneo was closer than he thought, 
as during the scuffle with Acnologia, he reveals that he has been inside Natsu the whole time. In fact, I've yeah. been closer than you ever could have guessed. As you might have I expected, can't believe their that. reunion involves a lot more shouts than hugs, but it's heartwarming nonetheless. <laughs> Number seven, Fairy Law. This war between us has gone on long enough. Let's end this here and now! Word of advice, never mess with Grandpa Makarov. While initially put out of commission by the likes of rival guild Phantom Lord, the old geezer makes the mother of all comebacks when he steps into the ring to take on guild master Jose. In order to save my guild, I will gladly take that risk! Understandably pissed that his beloved children were put in harm's way, Gramps busts out the fearsome spell known as Fairy Law. I invoke Fairy Law. Do not mess with this guy. He may be short, but he... but don't mess with him. this moment easily reinforced why Makarov is the OG of mages. Number six, Dragon Force. This is the best one in the series. We've seen Natsu get fired up plenty of times over the course of this series, but nothing compares to the time he accessed his inner dragon. Atop the Tower of Heaven, Natsu's determination to save Urza from a Zeref possessed Jalal leads him to ingest Ethereum. While this would normally kill most people, it gives Natsu the boost he needs to transform himself into a humanoid dragon and finish the fight. No. Best one in the series. The Best moment in the series. Sight of him utterly destroying Jalal. But then again, what did he expect? He messed with Natsu's crew. You can do it, Jalal! Free yourself! <laughs> Number five, <laughs> Natsu versus Guild Arts. I'm coming for you, Guild Arts! He I can got never a heck of a lot stronger Guild over Arts. the last three years, and I can't wait to show you! One of my personal favorites. While he seems to get stronger <laughs> after every fight, there will always be mages leagues above Natsu's ability. A very small, small percentage, but nonetheless, they exist. Whoa, Seriously. One of them happens to be former fairy tale guild master and guy who loves walking through walls, Guild Arts. Despite his laid back attitude, his strength is off the charts. So much so that he was able to shrug off Natsu's best attacks with ease. Yeah, you have gotten stronger. I'm proud of you, Natsu. The dragon son. However, his most defining moment came when he showed off his true power in a display of such superiority that it forced Natsu to do the unthinkable. Surrender. Don't tell anybody. I... accept <laughs> defeat. Number four, Lazada wow. returns. In spite of their quirkiness, thought, cause, the Strauss siblings right. for the better in, half of the When series, this moment came, I thought she was dead. Younger sister. However, much to everyone's jubilation, it turned out that Lazana wasn't killed, but rather sent to the parallel world of Edelus. I'm not suspicious. I'm a member of Fairy Tale too. While it took some convincing, Lazana eventually returned with Natsu and the rest back to Earthland, leading to a reunion with Mira and Elfman that left many fans weeping in joy. Please don't ever leave us again, okay? <laughs> Lazana! Don't cry. I'm here. What do you mean I'm crying? Todd Habercourt doesn't cry. Oh. <laughs> Number three, sounds just Urza like versus him. 100 Monsters. You don't seriously mean to challenge 100? all the monsters at once, do you? We designed this event to be completed by multiple wizards. I don't care. Have we mentioned that Urza Scarlet is a badass? Love because Urza. Because Urza Scarlet is a total badass. During the preliminary round of the Grand Magic Games, Urza decides to go all the way and earn Fairy Tail the maximum number of points by defeating a hundred monsters all at once. Does she accomplish this? <laughs> of course she does. Amazing! Does she count? The class monster remains. Cycling through her various armors and weapons, Urza's skills are on full display as she slices apart one creature after another. But what else would you expect from Titania? Fairy Tale Team A sweeps today's contest in an absolute undisputed victory! Number two, Natsu versus Sting and Rogue. My only target is Gosh. Ah, I love you beat this me one and too. you can take on whoever you want. I'm it's sorry, a I like everyone. Battle Royale as fire and iron take on the combined strength 
of light and shadow. And what has to be the highlight of the Grand Magic Games, Natsu shows the new guys on the block that despite being out of commission for seven years, he's stronger than ever. Even when up against two Dragon Force users and a unison raid, Natsu still manages to overcome them with fierce determination and a serious amount of flames. Shadow Dragon, Iron Dragon By far one of the series' most epic moments, it's just a shame that Gajiel got shafted on the glory. But yeah. really... Let's do it again sometime! <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Maybe you forgot, because I'm such Iron a nice Shadow guy Dragon these mode. days. But I'll make you remember oh. your fear. I don't think this... I don't see this one. Good art saves... Let my life be enough! Last Ages. Number one, return after seven years. It's hard to believe it's been seven oh, years. Oh yeah. Has it really? I really thought long? they were. Despite the battle, I really with thought they all were dead. On a rather cataclysmic note, we were all convinced that Natsu and company would easily find a way out of it. We were then proven dead wrong, as in truth, seven years had passed by, and Fairy Tale was now a shell of its former splendor, to the point where other guilds were muscling in on its territory. Stand down, Fairy Tale. <laughs> As heartbreaking as it was to see events turn out this way, the sudden reveal that the others had indeed survived and finally made their way home had us cheering our asses off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look who's back! Sorry to keep you waiting for so long! <laughs> as if they could kill off Natsu. Not on my watch. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back! You're home! Do you agree with our crying. picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo <laughs> and subscribe for new videos every day. Man. So basically, this was all these moments were good. And there were some that I didn't see yet. Um I might have to start I have to start watching um I might have to start watching Fairy Tale again. Um, anyway, um, there's gonna be a lot of videos this week, I trust you. Let's see if I can break this record, because I never successfully, I think, successfully, excuse me, made, made videos throughout a week. Let's see if I can do that, alright? This will be my channel's record. If I can upload an, all of a lot of videos th this week I will be um, I don't know anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up um, comment below what you think of the video and comment what your favorite moment was in fairy tale and subscribe if you're new to the channel and share this with your friends I will see you all in the next video